Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little vlog to talk about this new art installation project that I'm doing. I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to share it with you. Um, it's called Apparitions and you could probably tell by the little kind of proof of concept video that I stuck at the beginning of this one um, what the pieces are going to be like in a general sense. Obviously that's a more simplified version, but essentially it's made of these different paper ghosts. Uh, made out of a paper that is water soluble. So they're gonna be hung outside. When the water comes down from the rain, the paper will dissolve and reveal this sculpture inside of it. Um, something I've been working on for a while, wanted to get out there, and I found a couple places that I'm gonna partner with to get this out to the public. So the idea of it really is that these paper ghosts or apparitions are all designed around various um, beliefs, values, viewpoints that maybe I've had in the past that I feel like don't really serve me anymore. And then the sculptures on the inside are sort of designed around these better, um, more healthy ideas and values that I want to have in the future, right? So it's the more permanent ones. And if you guys want to read like the artist statement, all of that stuff, I'm going to have a link in the description for you guys to check that out. Um, so I'm going to show you now the ghost, the little apparition that I will be putting up today. So this is the first piece that's going to go up today. Um, you can see he's got these sort of origami DNA strand arms. And in his body, there's this pattern of sort of, it looks a little bit like binary code. He's got kind of a rectangular mouth, looks a little bit robotic and he's kind of dangly so he'll be fun to have outside. Um, so that piece is titled Inherency and uh, sort of around the idea of who you are, what you're capable of, um, you're, you know, all of that being fixed or being, you know, inherent to something very concrete. There's not a lot of room for growth or change or development, um, you know, to sort of, it is what it is, right? And I feel like coming from that point of view with myself really kept me from um, challenging myself and saying, hey, what what could I be better at and how do I get there, right? I just believe, oh, I'm, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I'm not good at this and that. And, and letting that sort of dictate my life more than this belief that, hey, what do I want to improve, right? What, what do I want to be doing? What do I want to be capable of? And believing that I can get there. Um, so the piece that's going to go inside of this one, again, I'm not going to show it to you today because it's a surprise. Um, but if you check out the link I'm going to put in the description for the project page, one, you'll get to read me talking about this stuff in a much more coherent and less bumbling manner. Um, and you know, you'll get to check back and see the pictures of the sculptures um, whenever they are revealed or whenever I feel like it's just been so long without rain that I just need to put them somewhere. Um, but that's definitely something I hope that you will check out. Um, but this is the display board that's going to go out with it. It's got, you know, the names of the pieces. It's got the artist statement. Again, you can check that out on the, on the website. And then it's little graphics I did. I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it again. Um, but yeah, I, I think I wanted to talk about that inherency versus development, which is the name of the other piece, um, for the first piece that I put out because I thought that's a little bit foundational. My cat just sat on a piece of tissue paper. I'm sorry if you could hear that. Um, he, he loves doing that. Um, but. I thought that was a little bit foundational kind of to the rest of the pieces. Plus, design-wise, I think this one is probably the most, he's still doing it. Come on, buddy, sit down. Um, I think it's it's kind of one of the simpler designs. So I thought, you know, I want to start on that note and then end on one of the much more um, intricate or complicated ones. So I'm going to try to get some footage of me um, actually installing this so I can kind of share that process with you too. And yeah, I, I hope to show that to you next. Hey 
Hey guys, I'm back. Everything is installed. I think it went pretty well. So if you guys want to see more updates on that project on YouTube, let me know. Uh, definitely check out the links in the description, of course, to see more information and keep up to date as things develop. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you next time.